Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another minimalist video. If you're new here, I've been doing a whole series on minimalism lately. I've been really minimizing, minimalizing, decluttering my house lately and just trying to minimize and simplify my lifestyle. So in today's video, I'm going to go over what I have on my phone. I think I keep my phone pretty minimal. I'm sure that there's people out there who have less stuff on their phone and I'm sure there's lots of people out there who have more stuff, but I thought I would just walk you guys through what's on my phone and what apps I use all the time and how I like to organize my phone. Okay, first off is my screensaver. I really like to have a quote, something that's kind of applicable to maybe something I'm going through in my life. Um, and I really, really love this quote. Typically you'll find a quote or maybe like a picture that's kind of significant to me on my screensaver. And then as my actual background, I typically have like an actual photo. Um, this was kind of a really significant day for us. It was just a really good day. I like can't really explain it in ways that make sense. Yeah, it's just a picture that I really love. And I also love the top of it is white and it's really simple so I can still see all of my apps. And then I obviously have one text message. I, I'm pretty good about at least reading my text messages. So obviously at the bottom here, I just have like the phone call, the iMessage, and I have Google Maps, and then I just have my camera. Those are the things that I use all the time. And I really like to have my front page just plain, nothing on it, no apps on it. And then on the second page there, I have all of the apps that I use pretty much every single day. I feel like these are mostly self-explanatory. Obviously YouTube, I often have YouTube videos playing on the background if I'm like cooking or doing dishes or brushing my teeth or doing my hair or stuff like that. And then calendar and then the weather because I check the weather all the time because it's always crappy. And then Marco Polo is an app that I use with my friends. You, you can send like video messages to people and I use that every single day with a couple of my friends so that's right there on my homepage and then I have Gmail which is obviously my email um, I have my photos I have Instagram and then RBC is my bank account so that's right there so that it's easily accessible and then on the next screen I have all of my different apps pretty much categorized I do have notifications on some of them. I never update anything, which is why there's 25 updates on the App Store. But I'll kind of go through the apps that I have with you. So obviously the Apple apps, like you can't get rid of these really. I don't use iMovie often on my phone, but I do use it once in a while. And then, yeah, I would delete a couple of these if I was able to, but I can't. And here I have some other ones that you can't really delete. I feel like those are super self-explanatory. I use a lot of Google apps, so I use Google Chrome and I use Google Drive and Google Photos for photo, to send myself photos. And then in my social media category, I have all of the obvious social medias. Um, I have one called Amino Apps. I was actually creating video content for them for a while. Um, so that's why that's there if you're not familiar with that. I don't really use it personally every day, but. And then here I kind of have ones that are it's called Listen, so music, and I don't use Apple Music, I use Spotify, but I use Podcasts and Audible and Hoopla. Those are all ones that I use all the time. Um, Hoopla is a really cool app if you're not familiar with that. You can actually connect your library card. It doesn't work with every single library card in the whole world, but lots of libraries are connected with this service, and then you can actually get free books on Hoopla. I'll actually show you because I think it's pretty cool. So there's tons of free ones and the nice thing is that you don't have to wait on a wait list like you would if you got an audiobook out through your library. There's no wait list and they have a ton of stuff so I've been really really happy with Hoopla. And then Audible I have audiobooks on there obviously and then I use both Spotify and podcasts to listen to podcasts. I haven't really like committed to one or the other. And then EPL is just my like local public library app that I use and then obviously voice memos. I think that's like a one that comes on your phone. And then I have quite a few photo editing apps. Um, and these are all ones that I use all the time. I've gone through so many photo editing things. I've probably had a total of like 50 apps in my lifetime. So I just really try to decide which ones I love and which ones I don't really need and don't use. And if I don't love them, I just get rid of them right away. And then I have an app that has a couple like money related or like store related apps. I don't use these very often, but I do like to have the Michaels one on my phone. Um, in case I'm at Michael's and I want to download a coupon. And then health, I have like, this is like a period tracker one. This is the health one. And then Think Dirty, if you're not familiar with that, that's a app that you can scan products at the grocery store and see like how clean or not clean the ingredients are. I really like that app. I use it all the time. I don't use it as much as I used to because I just kind of have favorite brands now that I know are clean. It's a really helpful app if you're just kind of starting to get into like the non-toxic lifestyle. These are all ones that just kind of come on your phone. I don't think 
and then travel I have all trails which is a really convenient thing if we're in the mountains or something because you can download trail guides and then if you're somewhere that doesn't have service which is super normal when we're in the mountains you can have access to information about the trails. So yeah, that's all I have for apps. I don't have any games on my phone. Once in a while, if I'm going on a long plane ride, I might download a game or two, but honestly, I don't really enjoy playing phone games. There's a lot of things I would rather do with that time, so I don't really have games. And then if I was to have other apps, like if I downloaded something new to try, I usually actually don't put it in a folder right away, it just stays kind of loose on this page so that I can see it and then it, that reminds me to delete it if I didn't really like it. Or let's say I need an app for like a specific, if I'm at a conference or something and they have their own app, I wouldn't put that in a folder just because, again, I wouldn't keep apps like that, I would just have it for the week or for the day or whatever and then I would delete it after that. So I really, really do try to keep the app on my phone super simple super minimal I don't have a ton of storage on my phone and this works really well for me I won't go into how I organize photos right now because honestly my photos aren't organized that well but I actually want to do a whole other video in the future about how I organize my photos on my phone because that's a project that I need to do so I'll share with you guys once I've done that hopefully that will be pretty soon and yeah I'm just pretty ruthless about the apps if it's not an app that I use all the time I pretty much just delete it because I like my phone to be really clean and really minimal. So I feel like it is. Yeah, if there's apps that you swear by that I don't have, I'd love to hear what those are. I feel like there's probably super cool apps out there. I'm not really a, a huge app person. I'm much more of like a pen and paper, like physical item person. I don't really like tracking things on my phone. But yeah, that's a little glimpse into what I keep on my phone as a minimalist and just to keep my life simple and really easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And again, if you're new here, make sure to check out the rest of my minimalist series. Those will all be in the description box below and I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in a few days in my next video.